What's going on people, this is Jagos, and I know it's been a while, but as you can see, I'm still a little bit sick. Um, I have to rant about a few things that have been going on. First, besides being sick, one of the things that I got recently was a look into video games. And for all intents and purposes, what I did with that was, I'm looking at it, Richard Dawkins, about bad video game behavior I know a lot of people have been looking into this thing and I'm gonna link it down in the underbar but I just want to say first and foremost I hate absolutely hate paywalls now the reason that I hate paywalls is the fact that paywalls don't really do much for us I mean for all that we've done taxpayer dollars already went into trying to find out what was going on in terms of public discourse but the paywall here is about a study in regards to Matthew Grizzard who has a PhD at the University at Buffalo Department of Communication who also talked to researchers at Michigan State University and the University of Texas the study is called being bad in a video game can make us morally sensitive now the main thing about this study, when I looked at it for Kotaku, and I'm not going to link to the Kotaku because I absolutely hate that site, but the fact of the matter is, I looked into it for cyber psychology behavior and social networking, and I could not find that article online unless I paid $34 to freaking get the study. So. I can't look at the study for myself. I can't see the methodology. This is something that I was kind of upset about. But let's go into the article. Let's look at the article so people can sit here and look at exactly what it says. Rather than leading players to become less moral, Grizzard says, this research suggests that violent video game play may actually lead to increased moral sensitivity. This may, as it does in real life, provoke players to engage in voluntary behavior that benefits others. Now, I've played 30 years of games, and I've played different video games over the years. Um, I have to redo my Retro Consoles video because of the fact that it failed. Someone on the blog told me how, at the 5 minute mark, it basically cuts out, and you can't see what I'm talking about. So I'll do it in a different way or I'll go back and I'll redo that video for you guys so you all have better video in the future. And I apologize for that. I should have looked at it more. But let's go on and let's go ahead and let's think about it. Because stories in video games, to me, they actually explain, you know, the benefits of trying to understand these characters. Men, women, villains, whatever. But let's go ahead and let's continue. Now Grizzard points out that several recent studies, included this one, have found that committing immoral behaviors in a video game elicits feelings of guilt in players who commit them. Now I'm not sure about um, emitting guilt, eliciting guilt, because when I play Saints Row 3, I don't really care about you know doing the mass mayhem. I'm thinking. These are fictional characters. At the end of the day, I'm not hurting anybody. Nobody knows what in the hell I'm doing. But that's just me. I may be an outlier. This is something that does need to be researched. But for this study, you can see that guilt actually helps. Because I do recall in Saints Row 3, when I had to save, you know, Shantae, I did that damn near without hesitating. Because... I felt something for that NPC, for that character. I felt something for Pierce. You know, even Pierce was, you know, a little wishy-washy. The fact of the matter is, when I played Saints Row 3, I cared to rescue them and not get revenge for Kill Bane, which was an option in the game. But let's go ahead, let's continue. Let's go on. The current study found such guilt can lead players to be more sensitive to the moral issues they violated during gameplay. You're aware of it so I actually think that that is something that can be looked looked into other studies have established that in real-life scenarios guilt evoked by immoral behavior in the real world elicits pro-social behaviors in most people 
when you are ashamed in some way shape or form that can actually change your real life behavior when you're doing it in a video game you may be able to reflect on that and obviously change your behavior for a better one in the future now a lot of kids i believe can do this and when you're talking about stories and everything those type of stories actually elicit that type of emotion which is something to look into so let's go ahead researchers induce guilt in participants by having them play a video game where they violated two of five moral domains care slash harm fairness slash reciprocity in-group loyalty respect for authority and purity slash sanctity now we they found that after a subject played a violent video game they felt guilt and that guilt was associated with greater sensitivity toward the two domains they violated those of care harm and fairness reciprocity or reciprocity um, give what you get or something like that the first includes behaviors marked by cruelty abuse and lack of compassion and the second by injustice or the denial of the rights of others so for all intents and purposes people don't really respect authority in video games I mean come on Grand Theft Auto respect for authority that doesn't go together at all purity and sanctity I'm not sure you can measure that in a video game and in group loyalty I mean video games have clans so you don't really have to worry about in group loyalty but the two, five dom moral domains those are very interesting they are something to look into I mean we also have the 10,000 um, people study or 11,000 people that have basically said that video games have not really harmed those 11,000 people so after getting that rant out about you know cyber uh, cyber walls I just have to say this is a decent study and it's a decent article but it is something that I would love to go into and have that research for you unfortunately I cannot do it so take it as you will this is a great article but for me I will need something in the future or if I ever find anything to discuss about this article that is not discussed I would love to sit here and do that in the future just to support this if I can ever if anybody ever gives me this study I'll be the first to put it down in the underbar so more people can look into it and come to the same conclusion so other than that I'll see you all in the next video take care